The abbreviation ECG stands for electrocardiography or electrocardiogram. An ECG is a recording of the heart's electrical activity using electrodes placed on the limbs and chest. The first step is to correctly identify the patient undergoing an ECG. The patient should be given a brief overview of the procedure, and informed consent may be required according to local guidelines. The patient should be asked to remove any clothing that may interfere with proper electrode placement. This usually involves undressing above the waist. The patient should lie down, relax, and place his or her arms along the trunk. It's difficult for some patients to fully relax because of tremor, e.g., essential tremor, Parkinson's disease, or arthritis. These patients should be placed in the most comfortable position. Proper skin preparation is an essential step in obtaining a high-quality, artifact-free ECG. Exfoliation with abrasive pads, paper towels, or gauze swabs may be required. Hair can be another problem because it's a poor conductor and prevents the electrode from sticking to the skin. Chest hair can be removed with a disposable blade or razor. The skin should be cleaned with an alcohol or soapy wipe. 10 electrodes are placed on the chest and limbs to obtain a conventional 12-lead ECG. One electrode is placed on each limb, while six electrodes are placed on the anterior and left lateral chest wall. Limb electrodes are placed proximal to the wrist or ankle. However, electrode placement may be more proximal in patients with limb amputation or significant tremor. There are IES and AHA systems for lead placement. We pay attention to IES system. The red electrode is placed on the right arm. The left electrode is placed on the left arm. The green electrode is placed on the left leg. The black electrode is placed on the right leg. It's important that the six precordial electrodes are placed in the correct anatomical locations. The V1 electrode is placed at the fourth intercostal space on the right sternal border. The V2 electrode is placed in the fourth intercostal space at the left sternal border. The V4 electrode should be placed in the fifth intercostal space at the midclavicular line. The position of the V3 electrode is between V2 and V4. V5 electrode is placed on the left anterior axillary line at the same horizontal level as V4. And V6 is placed on the left midaxillary line at the same horizontal level as V4 and V5. If female patients have breast tissue above the appropriate anatomical positions, electrodes V4, V5 and V6 are placed under the breast. If an electrode is placed in a non-standard position, it should be labeled as the recorded ECG may be misinterpreted. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe.